we are ready to start the second part of this webinar. I give the floor to my colleague, Mrs. Daniela Patuzzi. Hello, everybody. I'm Daniela Patuzzi, and I've been working uh, in Invitalia for more than 20 years, uh, mostly involved in activities like the promotion of incentives, the assessment of business plans, and also the project of uh, new incentives like uh, incentives for paying or innovative um, startups and uh, also in training of new entrepreneurs and um, for more than 20 years uh, in Vitalia has been supported investment uh, submitted by new or existing firms in the framework of different kinds of incentives, uh, performing activities like uh, promotion of entrepreneurial culture, assessment of business plans, disbursement of incentives like uh, grants and loans, loans, and also services for uh, new entrepreneurs like mm, training, tutoring, mentoring, and uh, also the monitoring of the beneficiary compliance with the incentive uh, obligations. Uh, most of such processes uh, have uh, obtained a quality certification. Um, let's take a look at the results we got in these 20 years. So you can focus on our um, huge experience. We get uh, more than 346,000 application and we financed more than 150,000 new firms. We are talking about mostly really small firms, tiny firms. Um, they brought investment for uh, almost 7 uh, billions of euro. Uh, you can see also um, a, remark a remarkable employment impact, um, even though we are talking about, as I sa said before, uh, talking about small uh, firms. Most of the firms we financed are in southern Italy because of the type of uh, incentives we managed up to now. Um, these goals and this huge experience led uh, Invitalia recently uh, to improve the mix of incentives and the way also they are managed um, focusing mostly on innovative startups and strategic sectors and trying also to simplify our bureaucratic procedures. Uh, Smart and Start is uh, the first incentive designed in this vein and uh, it uh, is aimed at mostly supporting innovation and technology transfer, attracting to Italy talented people, creative people, innovative people from abroad, and also encouraging the market entry of the results of public and private uh, research. Who can apply? We are talking about uh, innovative startups uh, established for no longer than 48 months. But pay attention, you must, be, uh, you must not be an established company to apply. Um, you can apply also as a single person or a team of uh, potential et entrepreneurs. Um, provided that uh, when you will receive um, the notification of uh, our funding decision, you have to establish your company 
within 60, uh, no, 60 <laughs> days, I'm sorry. Um, so this is a, a real good simplification. Of course, uh, a non-European citizen must hold an Italian startup visa at the time of application. Uh, what kind of firms do we finance? Uh, well, main, mainly um, uh, those that have high tech innovative business idea or those who operate in the digital economy, um, providing solutions, uh, products, uh, or services in the digital economy and uh, uh, those who want to try to uh, take to market the results uh, of private and public research. Uh, I mean uh, research spin-offs. Um, Smart and Start Italia uh, is applied all over Italy but pay attention because in this moment we don't have uh, funds left unless for southern Italy and for the territory hit by the L'Aquila earthquake. So you have to establish your company, uh, hopefully, in those territories. In fact, we suspended the assessment of um, the business plan uh, coming from other parts of Italy um, waiting for, hopefully, uh, new funds. Application must be submitted only online on the dedicated website. Um, you have to compile a very simplified business plan, so uh, it's really all very simple. And you will have an answer uh, from us in about 60 days. So it's really quick. Uh, we try not to make you waste your precious time. Maybe it's uh, important to, to focus on um, which are the, the evaluation criteria um, we have. Well, the first one and most important one is um, the, the skills of the entrepreneurial team, um, of course regarding to the related business plan. Uh, we think human resources are the most important thing. You, you can have the best idea in the world, but um, if you are not uh, able to manage it, well, what are we talking about? So um, we want to, to know you and uh, decide, first of all, if you're able to, to do this job. Um, of course, uh, we have also other evaluation criteria, which are uh, the market potential, uh, strategic positioning, your um, marketing strategies, well, the, the, level, the level of innovation, of course, I forgot to, to do this, but <laughs> we're talking about innovative startups, so. Um, and also uh, economic and financial uh, sustainability of the business plan and uh, the technological and operational um, sus uh, feasibility. Um, but remember, skills are the most important. So what kind of incentives uh, does Smart Start, uh, Smart and Start offer? Um, we're talking about an interest-free loan that you must pay back in no more than eight years. Um, this um, loan covers up uh, to seventy percent of eligible uh, expenses. Um, the maximum is uh, mm, one million and a half. Um, but uh, if the entrepreneurial team is composed only of people under the age of 36, uh, this share uh, can grow up to 80%. Um, 
the same occurs if um, the team is composed by women or uh, where there, there is um, an Italian PhD at least one Italian PhD permanently, permanently engaged uh, abroad in uh, activities uh, like uh, research or teaching um, and this way we, we, we are trying to uh, take our talented people uh, back to Italy. Um, the good news is that um, for companies established in southern Italy or in the territory hit by the L'Aquila earthquake, um, well, uh, in this case, you don't have to uh, pay back uh, all the loan, but only the 80%. Um, that means that 20% uh, is a grant. Um, expenses um, uh, must incur uh, from the time of the application and within 24 uh, months after the funding agreement and um, funds will be released uh, only um, for expenses actually incurred um, provided that in some cases uh, uh, with uh, bank guarantees or in some other ways I don't want to bore you to, with, with too much details you can also have um, some of the funds in advance. Um, well, maybe we can talk about uh, uh, the eligible expenses. We are talking about um, investment costs and also operational costs. Uh, example of investment cost, uh, well, um, brand new uh, uh, plants or machinery or uh, technical equipment, hardware and software, uh, but also patents, for example. Um, when we talk about um, operating costs, instead we talk about employee salary costs mostly, uh, licensing and rights uh, of IP, IP um, leasing and rental fees uh, uh, related to technical equipment, and also interests from other kind of uh, loans. Uh, if you are a very new startup, uh, um, born not more than uh, one year ago, you will also be supported by uh, a tutoring service uh, um, mostly uh, via webinar in um, topics like uh, um, marketing strategies or um, technological transfer um, uh, managing or uh, human resources but we also uh, organize investor days for our financed uh, firms or other kinds of events, business meetings. So uh, you will have plenty of services to, to be at your oh. disposal. Um, I want to show you some of the results we get in these few years of uh, activities of um, uh, Smart and Start. Um, we got uh, almost 200 and 500 um, uh, applications and we financed um, almost 700 uh, new firms. Um, when you see um, investments and uh, the employment impact, you can see that they are, they are really small firms. Um, hopefully, grow in. Um, 
let's take a look at the submitted application up to now. Most of them um, came from physical persons, so um, not established companies. Um, we're talking about 65% uh, from physical uh, persons. Um, and um, most of them are um, in the digital economy. Uh, unfortunately, only 12% are research spin-offs. Um, but when we um, consider uh, the firms we uh, actually financed, uh, we find a little bit different shares. For example, a spin-off uh, research uh, um, um, spin-offs are 14%, so that means that um, probably uh, these business plans are yeah. quite interesting. And the share of um, new firms fi financed in um, the digital economy uh, is a little bit less, um, 63%, with um, low investment. So we are talking about really uh, small firms with light uh, investment. Um, who is the typical smart and start startupper? Well, mm, you can see that most of them are in their um, 40s, but um, it's remarkable also the share of uh, young startups under the age of uh, 36. If we consider the share of women, I think that these data are really sad. <laughs> How many women are now connected? <laughs> For sure, uh, there is Anna. There is uh, yeah, the other one. Are not I'm not sure because there's names that nicknames uh, so nicknames so uh, the only one that is sure is <laughs> that we so <laughs> it's sad <laughs> anyway um, the good news is that when we consider um, um, companies established by young people this share is a little bit better uh, it raises up to 24%, but anyway, not, uh, not enough for me. <laughs> I hope to, to, to see this share increasing in the next years. Um, mm, extremely interesting, I think it's um, what the, our um, entrepreneurs uh, used to do before, and um, almost 30% of them were employees. It means that they decided to leave their job in order to become entrepreneurs, so that's, that's really good. Unemployed people instead are only uh, 5%. As we can reasonably expect, uh, most of our startups have a high education degree. 75% uh, uh, of them have uh, at least a new university degrees and 11% uh, of them um, have a PhD or collaborates uh, with pu public or private research centers. Um, I don't want to bore you anymore. N now you have uh, your question time, but um, I want to um, leave you uh, the information contacts. First of all, our websites, and also my email because you can also um, write me in the next uh, days. I will for sure answer you as soon as possible. Thanks. Thank you, Daniela. Uh, there is a first question and then I uh, encourage you to submit uh, more questions.
The first question is to share an example of the business plan that we need to receive for the Smart Start program and um, the all the uh, schemes and uh, specimens are in the website uh, www.smartstart.invitalia.it so there are this the, one yes there is a section with all the templates of the business plans unfortunately they are in Italian but if you write us we can uh, help you to, to understand the sections of the, of the standard it's very easy anyway uh, there is a question, Daniela, if uh, our company is based in Milano, can we participate in it? Uh, I can answer. Yeah, <laughs> uh, go for it. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, like Daniela said, uh, the funds for the northern part of Italy are now finished. We are waiting for further uh, funds from the ministry. Anyway, uh, you can establish your company with uh, uh, in uh, other uh, territories of the of the country, and uh, this is the the key to to access to this funding. So, uh, for the moment, it's not possible to base in Milan. Uh, I would sorry, Alfredo. I would add that as an alternative to Smart and Start Italia, we have the SME instrument by the European Commission under the umbrella of the broader Horizon 2020 strategy that Antonio is going to um, talk about very soon. So, I mean, even for those located in the northern part of Italy, you have the chance to somehow access to public funds for your northern startups. So, yeah, Danish, um, we have no idea uh, when uh, uh, more funds will be available. So uh, it's not uh, uh, it's not predictable because uh, most of uh, the funding uh, comes from the European Union, and they are uh, it's possible to to spend them only in certain territories. Mm -hmm. but, sorry, sorry, Alfredo. Uh, this is a very crucial issue now because we're talking about let's be concrete, honest and intellectually open to, to concrete reflection. We're talking about the money. So the most critical part of your business experience in Italy. So guys, don't forget that you have at least five opportunities if you want to raise money for your business. The first two, well, the first two opportunities, the first three opportunities regard either debt or grants the two following measures that you have at your advantage regard the raising of venture capital as far as the venture capital of the side of the story is concerned you have equity crowdfunding to raise capital in exchange for, for, for shares through dedicated online portals you have as a strong arguments for your negotiations with uh, both national and international investors, you have the incentives for equity investment. And as far as the debt or grant part of the story is concerned, you have sure, Smart and Start, Start Italia, but just if your company is located in the south part of Italy, true, this is a sort of handicap for other startups located in the northern or central, central part of Italy, but for all innovative startups, you have the free of charge automatic access to the public guarantee fund for SMEs, which I already dealt with before, which is a sort of alternative to the Smart to Start Italian program. True, Smart to Start Italian um, concerns like includes also a part of grant, and in any case, it's uh, interest rate low, which is not the case when we talk about accessing to standard bank loans but still you have a good opportunity to get bank loans through the public guarantee fund and last but not least we have the SME instrument under the H2020 umbrella so five opportunities to raise capital or loans or grants for your companies so it's quite a mix recite 
uh, it's quite a mixed, uh, how to say, sources. panorama. So you, like take advantage of all these tools. If one is not available, you have some others. This is the concept I wanted to transmit. This is true, but anyway, if you want to benefit from the Smart Start program, don't uh, ex ex exclude uh, at the beginning the possibility of locating in other uh, part of the country where there is a skilled workforce, good university, maybe lower uh, operating costs. And also so lower living costs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> with South, you mean Campania, Puglia, La Silicata, yeah. uh, Sicilia, Sardegna. Sardegna and Calabria. Beautiful places also. <laughs> <laughs> okay.